If you're a single guy and you want to get yourself a girlfriend, you must avoid making the following mistakes that I'm going to share in this video. The reason why is that a woman can go from liking you to losing interest if you make one of these mistakes, or she can go from really liking you to feeling disappointed that something didn't happen between you and her, that it just fizzled out. So the first mistake to avoid if you want to get yourself a girlfriend is waiting for very obvious signals from her. Most women want a confident guy who will approach her or attract her and then ask her out without her having to help him by making it 100% obvious that she wants him. Additionally, sometimes women will give signals that they think are very obvious but guys don't see as obvious. For example, sometimes a woman will be talking to a guy that she likes and she'll continue talking to him. She'll continue asking him questions and she'll continue the interaction. And that's her way of showing that, hey, I'm interested. Yet the guy's just thinking, well, we're having a chat here. I don't really know if she likes me for sure. Yet she's the sort of girl who isn't gonna show any more than that. Whereas another girl might be talking to a guy that she likes and she'll pat him on the leg or she'll touch his arm. And a guy might think, well, maybe she's just touched my leg there or my arm because that's the way she is. She's just touchy-feely. I need more obvious signals. I need her to make it completely obvious that she wants me. Yet the reality is that most women just won't do that, right? Sometimes a woman will make it very obvious and actually say, hey, I like you, but that is very rare. In almost all cases when a woman likes you, she's just not gonna go any further than showing some subtle signs of interest. Additionally, the way that women work is that in most cases a woman would rather go without having a guy as a boyfriend or lover then have to be the one who takes on the role of the leader and says, right, well, I like you. Do you want to go out on a date? Let's start dating each other and so forth. She doesn't want to have to take on that role. She'd rather go without than have to step up into that leading role. Now, it's not that women aren't capable of taking on that leading role, but a woman may experience some problems if she does take on that leading role. For example, if she pursues a guy that isn't really that interested in her and ends up getting into a relationship with him for two or three years, she will often end up getting dumped by a guy that wasn't really interested in her in the first place. Alternatively, if she meets a guy that lacks confidence and is a bit insecure and timid and hesitant around women and she decides to make it really obvious that she likes him and starts saying, hey, you know, I like you, let's start dating and so forth, the guy will then feel happy about getting a chance and they'll get into a relationship, but at the end of the day, he's almost certainly going to continue being insecure and lacking confidence and therefore, it's almost certainly gonna result in him becoming needy, clingy, possessive, and potentially controlling in a relationship. So in most cases, a woman would prefer to wait for a guy who actually has the confidence to talk to her and then the interest level to continue interacting with her and make something happen. If she does that, then she has a higher chance of getting a confident boyfriend who actually does like her. The next mistake to avoid is putting yourself in the friend zone. In many cases, a woman will like a guy and be open to something sexual or romantic, but he will place himself in the friend zone by only being nice and friendly to her and by thinking that she wouldn't be interested in a guy like him. As a result, the woman can then start to think that maybe there isn't enough of a sexual spark between him and her for a real boyfriend-girlfriend relationship to happen and potentially a husband-wife relationship to happen if they go forward together. If he's just being nice and friendly and she feels like they get along more like friends and she kind of sees him as a brother, then there's no real desire or need for her to move forward with a sexual relationship. So what you need to understand is that if you're interacting with a woman and being confident, using some humor, and are either being charming, masculine, or charismatic as well, then she will be feeling some attraction for you and become open to something happening between you and her. In other words, if you're not just being a typical nice guy and you're being a confident guy who can also be a bit charming or charismatic or a confident guy who has some masculinity to you and you can also add in some humor here and there, then she is going to be feeling attracted to the attractive personality traits and behaviors that you are displaying. So as a result, she's gonna be open to something potentially happening between you and her. And 
if you don't then place yourself in the friend zone by thinking that, oh no, she wouldn't be interested in a guy like me, and you instead place yourself in the lover zone or the boyfriend zone or the potential husband zone one day, then you're gonna be behaving in a different way, right? You're gonna be interacting with her with a lot more confidence and you're gonna move things forward to physical touch, a kiss or a date, sex, and start an actual relationship. The next mistake to avoid if you wanna get yourself a girlfriend is not being ready for the opportunities that you get. So some guys have the courage and the confidence to go out there and approach women and give themselves opportunities, but they're not 100% sure on how to attract women when they're interacting with them, so they usually struggle to get results. Whereas other guys don't actively approach women and they just wait for random opportunities that they get throughout their everyday life, which means that for some guys, they may get one to three opportunities where they properly meet a woman that they really like. By that, I mean, they're having an actual interaction with her, they have an opportunity, they like her, but then the guy doesn't even know how to attract her. So he's been waiting for months or maybe a year or even in some cases years for himself to have an opportunity to be in front of a girl that he likes. She seems to be open, she seems to like him a bit, but he doesn't know how to handle it, right? And he just talks to her in a nice friendly way, puts himself in the friend zone and the opportunity slips through his fingers. So whether you're gonna actively approach women to get yourself a girlfriend or wait for opportunities to come your way, make sure that you are prepared and ready and you know what to say and do to make a woman feel attracted to you so you can move from one step to the next with her. And if you wanna get my best ever examples on what to say and do, then make sure that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the audiobook version. Or if you wanna learn some free examples right now, Watch the video on the screen and I'll explain how to create a sexual spark when you're interacting with a woman so she sees you as a potential lover or boyfriend.